history of producing some of the finest irons, Mizuno have a challenge on their hands each year to make better of their predecessors. These new irons from Mizuno could arguably be the best looking irons ever. So good looking that performance is secondary. Based on looks alone, I want one of these models in my bag for 2022. The question is, which one? Oh, that was beautiful. Right, so today we're out on the golf course here at Carden Park. It's a gorgeous winter's day. And the first thing I want to do with these three different sets of irons is see how they differ in terms of sound and feel. And I'll do that very, very shortly. But before we do that, I just want to pop back inside and talk about what is different about these clubs in terms of that thing, you know, the tech spec. So we've got three new models. We've got the 221, the 223, and the 225. And they're each built very differently. But for me, Two of the models, the 221 and the 225, are just slight upgrades on their predecessors. So I'll start there with the 221. So it's very much the ultimate iron grain flow forge, what we expect from Mizuno. There is a slight change to the shape in, they say, and particularly in those shorter irons, they've got even more compact than they already were. Then it's onto the 225. Don't forget the previous model was the MP20 HMB. This is the hollow body construction, chrome alloy face, as in the previous model in the 228 iron. We've got 28 grams of tungsten, which is quite a bit packed in there in the two to seven irons. And then we've got a carbon steel face, forged face that is, in the nine to pitium wedge. And I think the one thing I noticed very much out on the course when you were playing, this is very much a slimmed down version of that predecessor, that MP20 HMB. But like I said, for me, they're minor tweaks on what were already two really, really good products. But the 223 is the one where it gets really interesting. And as you can see, this is a cavity back. Mizuno call it a player's cavity back, and there's new tech in the four to seven irons. And again, this chromoly forging comes in, a flow micro slot as they call it, all aimed at producing extreme ball speeds. And then they change it up again in the eight to pitching wedge, where that introduction of 1025 carbon steel comes back, and then it's all about that enhanced feel. Now we already know that every Mizuno, or the word is nothing, feels like a Mizuno. But the fact is, how do these things perform? And the only way we can find that out is get back out on the golf course. Right, so back to that sound and feel. Now we hear about the tech specs. And the one thing to mention that you heard in those tech specs is they're slightly different makeup, so not all pure forged. And I think the best way for me to explain the difference between the three would be to have a look at this little clip of me playing three nine irons into a green and see what I have to say. That was beautiful. That was a 225, that was. So in theory, it'll be interesting to see, because I'm going to switch to the 221. I'm going to go from exactly the same place. And this should be shorter. It's a much more lofted ball flight, isn't it? much more lofted. There's a huge difference in terms of um, the distance in terms of carry, but a totally different ball flight. And then this is the 223. And again, if, uh, if I'm right in what I've seen so far, this should be a longer ball. Yeah. Yeah, that's a lot longer. No, it's not. It's not, no. So again, interesting, um, three shots. We're gonna have a look on the green. Definitely the blade, the 221, was a slightly shorter of the, uh, of the three clubs hit, but in all honesty, not a great deal between them all. First one where I would say in terms of a field perspective, 
This is where we've played three short irons, which I think is where you want that difference in the feel. And without doubt, there's no doubt about it, that's where the 221 shone in terms of, for me personally, was the sound and feel really stood out amongst those three shots. Now this has got to be the most perfect model line up to blender set that I've ever seen because visually from the top line there is little to split them and in the bag they all look really really nice indeed so I think like I said maybe look into phase your set in depending on kind of your ability and your levels and where you see your game but the idea of putting those sort of two two ones in at the short game mixing up to those two two threes in the middle of the bag maybe in the mid irons and then at the long end of the bag for two two fives to kind of your four and five iron makes an absolute perfect setup there is however i think one negative that i would highlight in terms of these irons and that is their cost at the bottom end that kind of blade 221 comes in rrp wise this is in terms of british pounds a 221 is 165 pound you've then got the club that sits in the middle the 223 which i referenced wrong earlier in that uh, statement i've just made the 223 sits in at 180 and that 225 is 200 pound an iron would you believe in terms of the top end but i would also finish by saying you very much get what you pay for in life and i think there's no doubt these are a quality build and uh, even at that price tag you can certainly understand why mizuno are asking for that high level price tag ah still didn't make it in the one of the front bunkers here uh, this great par 5 here at Garden Park. Anyway, the point is, that was the 223. Because what I want to talk about next is about forgiveness. That's the kind of like playability. And there's an obvious assumption that the 221 will be totally different for that, maybe the 225. And maybe the 223 sits somewhere in the middle. It's difficult to reel off all their numbers, by the way. What I would say that I have found is that the 221 is as pure a blade as you can find. Soft feeling. In terms of forgiveness, I mean, I think this is a real kind of myth at the moment in terms of forgiveness in many ways, because if I eat, eat, hit either of these clubs out of the heel or the toe, we're going to lose in terms of performance. And I haven't found anything really significantly different in the 221 than I have in any of the other models, if I'm being honest with you. The only thing that differs, and I can tell with the sort of 223 more than the HMB even, it seems a slightly hotter face. Uh, I haven't even looked at lofts as th at this point. It seems a slightly lower ball flight where it's very obvious to say that 221 pure blade is very much traditional in its ball flight in terms of where it goes to. But in terms of forgiveness, I can honestly say I've not seen a massive difference between the three. Having said that, I've hit the ball all right, so maybe I've got them out in the middle today. But we've already seen with some of these shots now that you're watching that distance wise as well. I've not seen massive differences that I perhaps would have expected to see. Oh. Get up. You see the difference in ball flight? Yeah. It's incredible, isn't it? Yeah. But they've ended up in the same place. Yeah. So the next thing that's interesting to me in terms of which model I would personally buy and which one you will as well, I think, is the profile. And it's each of these models have been made more compact so in terms of the hmb which was the bigger of the three and is the bigger of the three it's been shrunk down i'd describe the hmb right now as being the sort of uh, was a p790 now is a p770 in terms of its size and they've done that with each of the models the 223 again is they're saying sort of the smallest most compact muscle back or cavity back rather that they've got in their range and then you go to the blade and again the way that's been put together is absolutely classic in terms of its design but i think it's down then to confidence what would you be comfortable in playing i've got a five iron of the 221 in hand and when you sit that behind the ball if you're not comfortable and familiar with a blade at a dress then you're going to be a little bit scared off by that and then i think you shove towards that sort of hmb model the 225 and perhaps the 223 and that goes back to that idea what i said earlier about the potential to blend these sets together and make your ultimate sort of maybe in that shorter end those blades and then sticking down to them hmbs in the long end but it's all about profile what you're like 
at address more than anything I would suggest. Right now something very different in terms of my reviews there's no dry ball data and there's no dry ball data for a good reason and that's because I really have no interest in it in this video and that's simply because I'm overwhelmed by the way these things look and I think for me the first selling point in these irons is how they look because they're stunning they're quite easily I think the best looking iron that is out there on the market not since the days of my old Mizuno MP5s have I seen something quite as nice as these two two ones and I absolutely love them so whilst I know we should be guided by performance I think they do they perform well enough from what I've seen out here on the course in reality where it counts and for me as a golfer it really depends on what you're looking for for whether or not you want to invest in a set of these Mizuno irons what they've done though is they give you every opportunity to make a choice of a very forgiving set in terms of these HMBs if that's what they're supposed to be and the 221 a pure blade like I said I haven't seen any major differences between the two that scare me away from the blade to be perfectly honest with you but a mix of the two or the three is certainly the route that I'll possibly go but certainly for me it's very much the iron to beat and the one that is very much likely to be in my bag during 2022 right i hope you enjoyed this review i hope we've given you enough information in terms of what we've seen in terms of the first look at these mizuno irons i will be doing videos individually on each of the three and seeing how they compare against their predecessors from previous years and uh, something a little bit more detailed but for now my first look will be a massive massive tick in the box on each of these three models and i think there'll be a long queue for people waiting to buy these things right comments down below let me know what you think more importantly have i gone over the top or do you agree these are something quite special hit that like button subscribe if you don't already and i'll see you very very soon thank you for watching